Yes, yes, Rascal and Disco beer review with me, Disco, coming at you with another beer video from in front of the cans and bottles on the bar here, or what I'm normally calling still the Disco Arms. It's 10 o'clock on a Thursday morning for this part of the video, and today I'm playing a little game I like to call Courier Racing. I haven't ordered any beers for a while, a few weeks anyway. Uh, I put an order in the other day, uh, and I was having to put another order, and I've just received a notification this morning. They're both on the way and due to me between 10 and 11 this morning. So let's see who gets here first. I've got DPD bringing me a little snack order from onlinesnacks.com. I featured them in a video the other week on my, one of my last orders. Uh, so I've got some more Twixes and some more snacks coming. And DHL are bringing me an order from Team Toxic and Liverpool Brewing Company uh, up in Liverpool. So I'm just waiting for this doorbell to ring. See who gets here first. Place your bets. <coughs> ah, we have a winner. Uh, the winner all the way from Scotland via DPD is Snacks Online. Another box, 15 quid's worth of snacks and sweets. You might have seen a previous video I did with them. I got some winter spiced Twixes in uh, a few weeks back uh, in the video entitled Winter Spice and All Things Nice. Uh, I thought it was actually going to be much tighter than this, but this, these ones have arrived first. Uh, so, might as well just go straight in with a quick unboxing, see what I've got on my order. These aren't entirely beer snacks. There's a bunch of crisps in there. I'll be honest with you. I did get a whole bunch more of the nearly out of date winter spiced fixes. Because they were damn nice. We were. Um, straight off the top, some bacon flavour crisp, smoky bacon, golden wonder, breakfast crisp, love a bit of that. Uh, oh yeah, I've got some discos, get disco crisp. Get to see which one of those I prefer, whether it's the cheese and onion or the salt and vinegar. I think it's them, they do hold boxes of these, so I could be getting some disco crisp to go with some beer reviews. Some classic snacks there, look. Scampi fries, got a few packets of those. Uh, love it or hate it. Got some Marmite flavour quiz. That's for a little pan I've got for another review. Sausage and tomato. Don't remember them as a crisp flavour, but I'll give them a go. I haven't seen Golden Wonder around for quite some time. On the last one, I got some popcorn. I didn't get this flavour in that time, but uh, I got it in this one. Lemon and lime flavour popcorn. No idea, but you've got to try these mad things. Oh, it's only a four pack. Tonics caramel wafers. Uh, I've got a plan coming up for those as well. I've been meaning to do for several weeks. About a certain beer I've still got in the stash. Watch out for that one, hopefully, coming up soon. Never seen these before. Hazelnut flavour whisper gold. So I thought I'd go for a couple of them, see what they're like. They sound good to me. Uh, salted caramel popcorn flavour Kit Kat chunky. Again, new one on me, but I'll give that a go. What? A Jaffa cake donut. Try these mad things. Aha. Some biscuits, white chocolate chips, love a bit of that. Nicely packaged box. <laughs> well, that was nicely planned. I just put a nice round number, but I got a whole box of the Winter Spice Twixes. <laughs> Super. Uh, they come down from Glas uh, from Scotland, not Glasgow, north of Glasgow, north of Edinburgh, somewhere. Uh, Glen Groves, I think they are. Don't know too much about them. I just see them about online and went for it. Uh, snacks online. Uh, and also known as cinema snacks, I don't know, I think it's two 
similar companies or the same companies operating the same place but just a uh, brilliant website just loads of like all the the twixes twixes were 20 pence each that's why i got a massive load of them uh, and the rest of it 15 quid's worth uh, i did 15 quid because it includes free postage ordered it tuesday it's now thursday so uh nicely done dpd loss i may come royal mail but a dpd this time so just waiting for some beer to go with it And yes, yes, here is the second delivery of the day. Uh, Express down via DHL from uh, Liverpool, from Liverpool Brewing Company. Quite keen to get into this one. And check these beers out. Go with me snacks. I well, don't really go with me snacks, but as they arrived on the same day, it's kind of good to put them together. Nice bit of packaging. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> I've just done a thing about sweets, funnily enough. <laughs> I've got a little bunch of sweets in a box. I wasn't expecting that. That's always nice. A Vimto Chewy Bar, some other chewy stuff. Haribo. And Love Hearts. Oh, isn't that nice? Uh, I'll eat one or two of them. I'm not massive on them kind of sweets, but it's very appreciated. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, so, the main beer here. This is the uh, star of the show. I'm going to do this one out first because I'll come to it first. Uh, from Team Toxic. Don't know if you remember them, I uh, featured them a couple of years ago, I haven't seen them around too much, they've been getting by over lockdown, but finally got into cans. Do you remember the inverse stout that they did, had a pure white body and a jet black head, so inverse Guinness. A uh, little bit of a gimmick, a little bit of trickery, but it was a lot of fun and I did chase about the country uh, trying to get a pint of it. Uh, eventually did a tap takeover up at um, Trekkers in Chesham. She's up the end of the metropolitan line for me, so I'm pleased to try that and some of the other bees here. Chat to Gaz, Gaz Prescott, the brewer. Uh, it's quite prolific on the Facebook groups, and there's a fair bit about the brewing. So, this one uh, is called Every Beat of My Heart. Uh, and again, I saw the run up to it on Facebook, so I was quite keen to get hold of this one. It's a 6% Balkan style Borscht IPA. And having seen some of the pictures uh, already on social media, the front of the can is just the right colour. There's a pause, a lovely reddish purple colour. So I'm really looking forward to getting that one in the can and getting on a review of it. And a uh, beetroot, a little bit unusual, not everybody's taste. Uh, if you remember, I had uh, a beetroot beer from uh, McColl's last year and the year before. Um, the, uh, so on there, uh, the, beat, the Beat de Garde. I um, don't know if they bring that one out again this year. I'm interested to see if that should be around about this time because it's kind of springtime. So maybe put them up together. I don't know. Let's have a look. Uh, see how that one pans out. Uh, another one uh, is a when everyone is someone, then no one is anybody. It's a hell of a mouthful, uh, and it is a big mouthful of Chinook Heavy West Coast IPA at 6.2%. Everybody loves a West Coast IPA, don't they? Uh, I always do say I'm not so much, but I'm getting into them. I'm getting into them. Uh, I'm fairly certain that will be a decent uh, coming from. The Northwest, as it is. Uh, oh, yeah, Eaton Trifles. Great name. Uh, it's a sour, so again, I always try them. Uh, and this one sounds pretty good with the musical reference and the flavour profile of strawberry and vanilla pudding sour, 5.2%. Again, something a little bit wacky, something a little bit different. Uh, looking forward to that one. Uh, this one I've had before. I had this on draft, as I say, uh, when I chased them around the country up at. Um, Chesham up at Trekkers. Uh, it's called Campania and it is a 5% Neapolitan ice cream milk stout and as you know I do love my stouts. I just realised they are all uh, branded Team Toxic these ones. I thought I'd got some Liverpool ones but the excellent information on the back of the can is very similar between Liverpool Brewing. I'm a bit confused actually because I've got two here that I don't actually remember putting on the order. I think they've done me a little solid and given me a little sample here of the Liverpool brewing ones. Uh, again, some great artwork on there. Nice colours. This one's a big, juicy, hoppy, fruity and intense, hazy pale ale at 4.5%. Don't mind the pale ale. I haven't got room to put them on there because I wasn't expecting them. I didn't plan for that. Uh, and the other one is a tropical, hoppy and fruity oat cream pale ale at 4.2%. Again, nice pictures, nice colours on, on the can there. Uh, 
I think I didn't put that one on the order. Uh, mainly because I was keeping costs down. I was just trying the ones I wanted. Uh, I didn't know it was oat cream pale ale, so the oatiness tempers slightly the, the hoppiness for me. But uh, knowing I haven't had Team Toxic before, I know they do a decent beer, or I think they do anyway, so I'm looking forward to getting into those ones. I did miss, there was one on there, they got a um, Affogato stout as well, and I can't believe I didn't go back for that. I should have put them on there as well. But a nice little lineup, hopefully, get them on a review soon, get them out into a glass, and see what we got. Uh, let us know in the comments below if you've uh, had any of these beers, what you think of beetroot in a beer, and also any of those snacks uh, take your fancy. Um, what do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Please like and subscribe. Thank you very much. And if I get the link right, coming up on the screen is some links. There. To a couple of other videos to watch. I've been Disco Rasco and Disco Beer with you. See you again soon. Cheers.